What about Windows? There was a parallel development of Windows 95, right, at that time. Did you get, did you get a chance to interact with those folks? I actually worked on Windows 95 for about three or four months. I was on the COM OLA team doing the presentation cache, which is when you insert a, say, a Word or an Excel spreadsheet or chart into a Word document, you don't want Excel to have to be loaded to render it every time. So there's a presentation cache of enhanced meta files, and I was working on that. So that shipped in Windows 95, but I moved to the Shell team about six months after getting to Microsoft. And so I worked on NT from there forward. Okay. And what's 95? What's NT? Uh, Windows 95 is an evolution of the original 16-bit Windows 3.1, which was the very first popular version of Windows. And it adds 32-bit support and then VXD drivers and a bunch of new technology and an entirely new user interface. And it's something that at the time was revolutionary. People lined up at night to uh, wait in line to buy the thing. Can you just take us back to that time and describe why 95 was such a big leap from 3.1? So Apple already had a graphical interface. Uh, Windows 3.1 had a graphical interface. Well, why was Windows 95 such a gigantic leap? I don't want to make it as basic as the start menu, but I think <laughs> it's a big part of it. I know when I first saw it, yeah. I couldn't quantify what about it was different and awesome, but I realized that I wanted to be a part of it, and that's why I started writing a shell extension, which became uh, zip folders at some point. But mm -hmm. I was just fascinated by the new shell, and that's why I wanted to work on the team that brought that shell over to the NT and what's Windows today. Would you say that's the greatest operating system ever? What's the most Im impactful operating system ever? Windows 95 would be number two for me. I think OS 360 is going to be number one. Okay, interesting. Did you take a machine and write a COBOL program for it in 1962, jump in your time machine, go to Poughkeepsie and boot up an IBM Z17 mainframe and run it today? And they've been doing it for however many years that is. And it's all on the business side, so we as consumers don't have much access to it, but I think it was probably as influential in the commercial side as Windows 95 was in the home side. And then probably Linux would be number three for me. I put Linux as bigger than Unix, which doesn't work because you can't have one without the other. But the impact of Unix, BSD, and so forth is largely in the academic space. It's by programmers for programmers. So yeah, Linux created... I mean, it was the embodiment of the open source spirit at its largest scale, right? So it almost created a community. And it, it created a spirit of programming that uh, propagates to this day. That's true. That's true. Like, scale matters. Yeah, and its penetration on the server side of things now is, I don't know if it's equivalent to what System 360 achieved, but it's almost ubiquitous, so... Yeah, the world, I mean, <laughs> this is the quiet secret of the universe is it runs on Linux. 